Hey guys, so I was sitting on my couch the other day and I was just wondering what video to do next and to make the things a little bit easier I just decided to ask you what you wanted to see so I did a YouTube poll in the community tab and I asked you guys what do you want me to do? I was surprised because so many of you, in fact the majority, said that you wanted me to follow someone else's makeup tutorial again. <laughs> now I already followed a Nikki Tutorials makeup tutorial and I got an amazing feedback from you guys. I just want to thank you so much. You were so sweet in the comment section, like honestly I was melting reading the comments. So today we're going to be following a Patrick Star makeup tutorial. Now, we're very different in terms of makeup. As I assume from his videos, he's usually going for very glam, like bold and daring makeup looks, and I'm more to the to the neutral side. I'm doing bold looks sometimes as well because I really enjoy playing with makeup, but I find myself comfortable in more like neutral makeup looks. I think that Patrick is very talented. I'm sure that most of you guys know who he is, but if you want to check out his channel, I'm going to have a link down in the description box as well as a link to the video that we're going to be following today. So let's go ahead and do that. So I decided to go with something more recent that he did. So we're going to be following his Valentine's Day makeup transformation. Okay, Patrick, show us how to transform ourselves. Okay. And we're gonna jump into what I use. All right, what is that? First thing, I am using the Tatcha water cream. I saw Jackie raving about I don't the have that. Water cream. Well, we're going to be improvising today. So I have this Garnier Skin Active Day Cream with um, Aloe Vera. Well, the packaging looks kind of similar like the, the cream that he used. So, yeah. Now for the lips, I have been obsessed with this Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask. I'm gonna use, so hold on, so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay uh, lip loaf. It just feels great on the lips. I love this thing by the way. All right, we are moisturized and ready. What we're doing next? All right, folks, we popped in some contacts by Desio. They are the Rebel Grey from the Attitude Collection because we got attitude today. We are trying oh. to cop up. Okay, I'm going to stay in my brown man. eyes today. We're just trying to have a man um, notice me as um, the eye patches sit here and as I beat my face for four hours in hopes of capturing. Four hours? Okay, I, I, I'm ready for that. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to take the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil. I have this. I have this. Real. It's the same old motion, same old thing and thing. If you guys want to see a tutorial, watch my other videos. But I'm going to jump off and do them really quick. All right, I know with a lot of brow. I, know I love those brow. brows. They're, they're bold. Let me go ahead and do my brows off camera as well. I'm going to use the same product as he did, but in a different color, I think. And um, I think that this look requires some bold and dramatic brows. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I haven't worn my bold eyebrows in a while. I had them in the closet for a couple of months now. I haven't really worn them, so I'm, I'm going to enjoy them today. Here comes the first thing that we do differently. I usually like doing my eyebrows after I have my foundation on because I'm always getting foundation on my, on my eyebrows and it's not beautiful. But today, it's a different day. All right, I know what's a lot of brow. I know what's a lot of brow. Just take, just take it in, just take it in. And I'm gonna take these off so Ooh. you can get a better look. Okay, yes. That felt amazing, mm -hmm. I know. And we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna take my Lancome Tint Idol 25 foundation and 450 That's expensive. And, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of Joy's I don't have that either. It's very high coverage, but it's thin. And I love a cake face. If you guys have been watching me for a while, I love to cake on my foundation. Okay, let's cook that cake. Um, I don't really have those foundation that he mentioned, but he also said that he's going with a very, very full coverage foundation. So I have this Makeup Atelier um, foundation. This is a very full coverage. So I'm going to take some on the back of my hand. That's a little bit a lot. I'm also going to mix it with the Ordinary uh, Serum Foundation in the shade um, Fair Neutral, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit because it's a little bit dark for me. Hold on, this is... Okay. So I'm just going to mix two heavy duty foundations with a lot of coverage and smack it on my face. For concealer, I'm going to take my studio. Not, not the concealer yet. Hold on. And very carefully around the eyebrows. I spent 20 minutes filling them in. I don't want to mess them up. These are great if you're a makeup artist. They're so fabulous. And I'm going to mix a little bit of everything. And I'm going to take a little bit of NW20 and apply this underneath the eye and all over the face. Now is my face. Oh, that's, that's very high speed. Applying it basically everywhere, I guess. 
Now is my favorite part. We are going to blend and bounce the booty blender on the face like when you bounce your booty on your man on Valentine's <laughs> Night. Okay, so you basically just use uh, the beauty blender to blend out that concealer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take Patrick's powder by my MAC collection and apply this all over the face. Guys, I'm putting extra powder because we gotta wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? That's a lot of powder. Bring me the flower. Sure. So I have this Motifs Translucent Loose Powder. He's using like a huge puff to apply that. I have a small one here and I wash it today. It's a little bit damp but i'm gonna try to get it as dry as possible all right let's add the flour to the cake <sighs> i'm inhaling father so you guys know that i'm usually not baking not on my face not even in the kitchen i'm i'm a very bad cook i have so dry skin especially now in the winter this doesn't feel good <laughs> oh my skin looks different because the nose isn't just a feature because my nose is down here and I always had a problem like contouring my nose but it just goes into the eye that's when you watch RuPaul's Drag Race everyone's nose contour like pretty much goes into their eyebrow so next I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush love this brush I think I have that brush but hold on I'm not ready with, with the first color okie dokie okay so next I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush. M433. Love. Okay. How does it look? M433. M4, M433. Okay. So I think that he's using now a darker color. And I'm going to mix these two here. This is a Morphe palette. Just going to mix them together. And where is this going? And run this across the crease. So I think I'm going to do a... I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done yet. You guys, I was struggling today with my bun. We need to talk about something. <coughs> oh, wow, wow. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> that was the powder in my nose trying to go out of there. <laughs> so we need to talk about something. I think that we need to make the messy bun official hairstyle. And when I say messy bun, I mean the messy bun. I mean the messy bun that requires two seconds to be done and the one that you don't need like 53 bobby pins to put it in place. Okay, that's what I mean by saying messy bun. The one that, you know, you wake up, you're in a rush, you just put your hair up and you're out of the door. That kind of messy bun. Not the messy bun that you're sitting in front of the mirror trying to, to make it look beautiful for like half an hour okay because every time that i attempt to wear a messy messy bun out in public i'm being called shaggy chicken why is that happening no but seriously we have very high expectations uh, for the messy buns nowadays we need to tone it down a little bit for the eyes i am going to take the max select cover up with a morphe m167 brush and cut the center of my lid all right guys so He's going a little bit too fast. Okay, so he basically cut the center of his eyes. He used some kind of a MAC uh, uh, something. I'm gonna use concealer instead. I'm using different palettes to kind of come as close as possible to the colors of the eye look that he's creating, but it will be definitely different at the end. I'm sure about that. <laughs> Alright, to blend the halo. The halo is looking a little bit harsh right now. I'm going to take a little bit of Swiss chocolate and saddle and I'm going to blend the edges so it's not so harsh. Alright guys, for liner, as you can see, I already Not there yet. Wait, wait for me. All right, guys, for liner, as you can see, I already tried it a little bit, but I'm going to take a little bit of a basic red acrylic. This is a me. I'm very excited about this part. I saw that Patrick did a glittery red eyeliner, and I didn't watch the entire video because I wanted to have, you know, surprises and suspense, but um, I'm very excited about this part. Now, I don't have the color that he used, but I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever Aqua Color Paint in the shade M72. I think that this is a very similar red to what he's using, so let's go ahead and do that wing so I am going to amp up the liner and make it into a red wing liner and 
apply the liquid and then put the glitter on top and hopefully come out with a beautiful sickening liner i'm hoping for the same okay let's do that i've never done red eyeliner and i've never done glitter eyeliner i think i'm not sure but i can't remember so so far i love this look i love how it's coming out All right, for mascara, I'm gonna take the newest Benefit Bad Gal Bang and apply multiple coats I on the top. This. So I'm just gonna really quickly coat my lashes with some mascara. It was a struggle gluing on falsies on top of glitter. I had some difficulties. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Make Forever Pro Finish Powder in the color 170 and dust it all over my face. This is my favorite part because you get to see. Hold on, <laughs> give me a second. So are we adding powder on top of the powder. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Let me just find some more powder. Okay, I'm gonna use my Hello Flawless by Benefit. He's using a big fluffy brush. Next, I'm gonna take my Pro Finish Powder in the color 128 and beat that face in the more powder. Come on, I can't oh, take I any it. more powder. <laughs> My face is a very different color from my neck. Okay, what's next? My Gold Getter palette, I take Saddle and Swiss Chocolate and smoke out underneath the eyes. I'm not gonna tight line because I wanna keep it bright. So to get this contour going, I'm gonna take a little bit of deep dark and snatch my face. Carve out them 10 pounds, you're trying to look cute. I love makeup, you guys, so good, so good. Wow, I, can, I think I overdid that, but hold on, my cheeks are not ready. I've done nose contouring twice in my life, I think, or maybe a couple times more, but you know, it's not something I'm usually doing. Did I overdid that? I don't know. So for blush, I thought it was only appropriate to get a NARS blush because they're just so PG. I'm gonna take the color Deep Throat for obvious reasons. <laughs> Why is he always doing those kind of dirty jokes? Come on, we're family friendly here. Where is my blush? I lost my blush. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna use a blush by Sigma. This is called Pet Name. Pet Name. and I'm gonna take my She Better Work lipstick and She Better Work lip gloss. I have none of those, so I'm gonna work with whatever I have. That's what we're doing basically the entire video. I need to sharpen this. He overlined his lips quite a bit. My upper lip looks huge. I almost never overline my lips, but I like how my upper lip looks today. I'm so excited because makeup was looking good, looking fleek, looking painted. I did use a bunch of setting spray, but moving on. I didn't, I didn't. Hold on, wait for me. But moving on. I have What's that? Russian oh, that's a week. And Numi partnered with me so I can show you guys how to get beautiful waves and such with this. <laughs> there we go, oh my god. You guys, I have a blonde wig. It's from eBay, I'm warning you, it's a very bad quality. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna put it on right now. Hold on, let me destroy this cute little bun here. Ow, ow. What's wrong with you here? Why are you being so aggressive with me? The only time that I wore a wig was for Halloween this year. It was a disaster. I was struggling a lot. I don't know how I made it work, but I did somehow and I'm proud of myself, which makes me think that I may be able to do it today as well. Hello. Mm -hmm. ha, gorgeous. I can't really explain you what I'm trying to do because I don't know what I'm trying to do. We're also going to learn today how to curl the wig. He said that his wig is a human hair wig. Mine is, it's from eBay. It was not more than 20 bucks. I doubt that this has anything human in it. I feel like a real woman. Look at me part my hair. 
Look at me part my hair like a real woman! I should have probably brushed that. Just gonna give this a quick brush while I'm taking my curling iron. I'm here guys, I'm still here, hello! Hi, I'm here! Is this okay? I don't think that's okay. I think that my hair is too small for this thing. Or maybe it's too big. How do wigs work? That's a... That curl is a fail. I need some help from Google for this. How to... How to curl synthetic wig. Spray your hair with water. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, let's wet it a little bit. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, this one looks better. What happened now? I did everything that I, I had to do. Maybe if I take a smaller section, spray and curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I burn myself. This is going to take me forever. One eternity later. You guys, it's been one and a half hour of me trying to curl this thing. I'm failing. I don't have the nerves to do that. But uh, it looks kind of cute. Uh, who am I trying to fool? I'm trying to turn into a low budget Patrick star. It's just not happening today. <laughs> but let me know if you like me with blonde hair. I really want to hear your thoughts. Now let's get this thing off. It's just... Oh my god, my hair is free again! I'm not gonna even try to perfect my bun right now. I, I had too much of hair struggles today, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and tease the hair and make it super huge and super big. I'm gonna change I it I admire I'll you right? for what you did. I admire you for what you did with your hair. It should have been us! All right, guys, this is the finished Oh, look. so we're done. If you guys could have tried it at home, we are serving red glitter lime. <laughs> I love that transaction. My Mac Patrick Star collection. And Alrighty, guys, so I guess we're done. This was it. Let me know what you think of the look. I absolutely love, love, love how it came out. I just... Look at that, look at that eyeliner. I'm so proud of myself today. And did you notice that Patrick didn't use any highlighter? I mean, wow. <laughs> I actually like the no highlighter look. I feel like nowadays everyone is going for that glowy, wet looking skin and Patrick didn't do that. In fact, he used some powder to keep the things pretty much. I mean, everyone has their own style of doing the things, their own techniques. And if you find that something works for you, go ahead and do it. If you find that something looks good on you, just go ahead, wear your makeup the way that you want to. No one can really judge you as long as it makes you happy. And again, at the end of the day, it's just makeup. You wash it off and then you're ready for some more. <laughs> just remember that makeup is not an obligation. It's just a way to express yourself. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to press the bell button next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. All of the links will be down in the description box. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!